Uh, so my name is Christina Melan. I am in the Joidis Resolution as a sedimentologist. Sedimentologists looked at uh, tiny grains and rocks and they describe them and characterize them. They look at it and they come up with a geologic history. The first thing we do is pick up some tiny bits of those grains and we put them on a smear slide and we look down the scope and we try to make a first very broad general impression of what are those grains. Are those terrestrial? That means you look for certain minerals, feldspar, amphibole, spyroxene, uh, quartz, those kinds of minerals indicate those grains came from land, from the word terrigenous, from a land somewhere. It could be a volcano, it could be a mountain that got eroded and all those grains got transported by rivers and then deposited on the bottom of the seafloor. Versus more um, marine sediments, which are little creatures that will be diatoms, radiolarians, forearms, um, things like that. We look for boundaries, we look for contacts between different types of sediments. Here is all terrigenous. All of a sudden, right below that is all marine. How did this happen? What kinds of things could have happened for this sharp change. We have a very small outcrop. We look at, at what's happening on the small scale, but you can transfer what you learn at the small scale into the larger scale. And that is not uncommon. A lot of people does that. I mean, biologists and chemists, and you know, we made inferences about the universe based on, on things that we know, physics that we know from Earth. So you have to start somewhere. And knowing what those grains are what those rocks are, how they form, what they are made out of and what they contain can help with the understanding of how is this rock going to behave, what is going to happen, how is this rock eventually going to go down in the subduction zone and, and uh, facilitate or not um, other earth processes, in this case an earthquake. but it could be anything. It could be volcanoes. How are these rocks gonna become magma? Eventually they will. They go deep down enough, they become a magma and come out of a volcano or any other earth process. So you have to start at the small scale, at the grains.